Welcome to Weed Entertainment. And look at this beautiful bud of something called Bad Apple from Connected. I want to put my uh, magnifying glass on front of it so everyone can kind of take a look. Look at the purples, look at the browns, and look at this flower because the doc sees that this looks like a gelato to me. It is a beauty contest winner. It is beautiful. But the doc has stopped buying beautiful buds. I'm looking for old school mean green. And I didn't even look at the slide. I just bought it because I haven't tried. I had a good, not a good, I haven't had a connected try in a while. So I wanted to add a connected strain in. So we're going to check it out today. But by a look at this, does anyone guess if this is gelato by the look? What do you think? Gelato? So let me throw my straw down into vapor cup. I have one scoop of bad apple by connected in vapor cup straw. It'll be ready to go in about a minute and a half. And we're going to talk about this flower. Also, if you haven't grabbed a vapor cup, vaporcup.com, grab one, join along with the journey. The greatest journey in weed ever. You will level up on your flowers and use a lot less. So, and also I think it's more functional myself. That's why I like it. I am on task every day. You got to get things done in life. Don't let flowers make you lazy. So Bad Apple by Connected has 31.05% THC. And I got this at the Embers down in Van Nuys. And Embers always has Alien Labs plus Connected. So that's been kind of my go-to place. They get the new drops. But a lot of these flowers, they sell out so fast you can't even get them. So when I saw Bad Apple, no one was talking about this flower. It's still not being talked about on Weed Entertainment. And so is it worth us to run to grab this flower? So let's check it out. You can see I've got my vapor in my straw. So here we go. Bad apple by connected at 330 degrees out of vapor cup. So let's talk about this flower a little bit. So it's definitely gelato, right? I started off the video. I tried this flower all day yesterday. So I know what I'm going to say, right? I try the flowers the day before, and then I do the review the next day. And I start from straight because I don't do the videos better stoned. So this is really a absolutely delicious, fruitalicious gelato or a fruited gelato. It really is. And I would say that I went after this and I went after it more and more and more. And it really gave me a hazy head. It has some focus. And for me, for the doc, it's just okay. I've tried a lot of connected flowers, a lot of strains. And this one uh, just didn't really do it for me. I'm going to give it a range score because it's not bad. If you love gelatos, maybe this can get an 8.65. A lightweight 8.65, right? But for the doc, who's a heavyweight, who wants heavy flowers with focus that can grim me out, this one gets an 8.5, which means it's an average top shelf gelato. You know, for me, there's so many better connected strains than this. And if you haven't tried guava times biscotti, I'm telling you, that flower will just smile you out. It is great. For this, it got an 8.5. It's an average top shelf flower for me. If you have a tip for the doc, leave it below the video. Leave me any tips. I'll be back. Party on, my friends. Mm -hmm.